Now airstrikes only intensifying over the weekend as humanitarian aid convoys began entering Gaza through the border crossing there in Egypt. But experts around the world say it is not nearly enough to meet the overwhelming demand. Meanwhile, hostages taken from Israel are still languishing under Hamas's control. NBC's Bree Jackson has the very latest. A sense of relief following the release of two Americans held in Gaza. Judith Renan and her 17-year-old daughter, Natalie. President Biden speaking with them from the White House. I just want to say thank you for your services for Israel. Oh, I, 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 look, that's, that's been long serving. I'm just delighted we're able to get you out. We've been working on it a long time. We're going we're gonna to get them all out, God willing. The Biden administration is still working to secure the release of all the other hostages taken by Hamas terrorists. The U.S. is also increasing its military presence in the region, which includes deploying advanced missile defense systems. And this is not by way of, uh, in terms of what we're doing by, by provocation. Uh, it's designed to deter, designed to make clear that no one should use this moment in any way to escalate. As the fighting intensifies, senators visiting Tel Aviv denounced Hamas's attacks. I just want to say that I grieve with all who have suffered losses, not just Israelis, but Palestinians. They are victims of Hamas as well. There's a bipartisan push to keep humanitarian aid and other help flowing. We know there's support in the House. And we think we will get this done, and we'll get it done in a timely way. It's not only in the interests of the countries of this region. It's in America's interests. It's in the interests of our world. The U.S. moving more military resources to the Middle East with the hopes of preventing this conflict from spreading. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News.